what's up guys so in this tutorial what we're going to uh, look into is building a login system for your mobile application and building a login system to me is really important it's the front end of how a user inputs their data and once you have that then you can use uh, the data to pull in preferences for that user or data that they have created themselves on your app and uh, the login system is the like I said the front end of that so building a robust login system uh, is important for most applications where you're going to use uh, user data to uh, further improve your app so here's an example of what we're going to be working on and as you can see it's just a simple uh, create an account or login kind of uh, application and when you go ahead and click on this it should pull up a dialogue fragment and uh, you'll be able to type in your first name and then the user will be able to type in the credentials and sign up and once they hit sign up it should display a progress bar until the request is finished um, so for right now what we're going to work on is designing this piece so if you're already familiar with how to design a mobile application for Android you know go ahead and skip this tutorial you know, I already got this, you know, no sweat. So uh, if, if not, though, if you're not familiar with it, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to design this exactly the way it is. And that should take about a couple tutorials to do. And then after that, what we're going to do is we'll dive into the back end of the uh, application as far as bringing up the dialogue and, and getting user input and all that using uh, Xamarin.Android. And that's where it gets a little different using C Sharp rather than Java. So and that'll, that'll be in the next couple of tutorials. But for the first two, we're going to design this application using AXML. All right, so let's get started. Go ahead and close that. Uh, close it. And uh, go ahead and open up Visual Studio or Xamarin Studio and open up a brand new project. Android, uh, start a blank app. And we will call this login system. Now the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to change around this main AXML form. Uh, so you can get that to resources, layout, and open up that form. And as usual, it's just a blank form. So go ahead and erase the button. And we're going to start writing the uh, XML code to design this. So uh, just an opinion of mine is it's if you're learning something, it's always easier to type it out rather than avoid copying and pasting it, which is a lot of times easier to do. But when you're first learning something, uh, then writing it out and really burning it into your brain is uh, the way I learn best and most quickly. So. Uh, so try to avoid, you know, copy and pasting anything. Obviously, uh, when you're watching, you're going to have to type this out. But if you find stuff on like Stack Overflow or anything like that, and you're just learning it, uh, my opinion and what I've always tried to do is just uh, type it out. And unless you already know it and you're comfortable with it, uh, that's, the, that's my way of uh, learning quickly. So that being said, let's go ahead and s begin writing it okay so we're going to keep the linear layout and the first thing we're going to want to do is change the background okay so in the background is going to be we're going to use a built-in background and the way you do that is at android color and background underscore light is what it's called and you can see that it changes our whole background color and the last thing we want to do with the linear layout the parent is we're going to want to set a weight sum and if you're not familiar with that i'll explain that here in a moment and you'll see how helpful that could be all right so that's going to get there okay so uh, the first thing we're going to want is a text view. Okay, so uh, we can type this out, but let's just start an initial text view. 
with the toolbox over here. Go down to text view and we'll add a text view. All right, so that gives us some initial properties that uh, we can add to. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is just for good measure, we can change the ID to something a little less generic. And we're gonna wanna change the text to say create an account. All right. And we'll leave that to match parent. And we're gonna wanna set, this might seem a little weird, but we're gonna wanna set the height to zero. And the reason why we wanna do that is because we want to have it, the text view to take up a certain percentage, the way I look at it, of its parent which is in this case, the linear layout that is the entire screen. And we want it to take up 20. So that's like saying the weight sum is 100, okay? And we want the text view to take up 20% of that. And that'll always remain. So that's a good way of, of uh, handling different screen sizes for Android. It will always be 20% of the screen size, uh, depending on what the device is. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how that looks. All right, so we see that it's right here, okay? Now the text color is blended in, so that's why we can't see it right now, okay? So what we can do there is set the text color, and we're gonna set it to an hex value of 368 DEB. That should give us a blue, okay? There it is right there. And then you can also go into properties if you don't feel like typing this out. Uh, and then it gives you a lot of different stuff that you can manipulate. And one of them is gravity. So now that this text view is filling the width and it has a height, then we, the way we can center it is you go to the gravity property and set that to center. And that will center both vertically and horizontally. And there you have it, okay? And then it added that for us right here. Now we can do a few other things like setting the text style. We're gonna to wanna to set it to bold. So just, just a few things uh, to touch it up. Uh, we're also going to want to probably set a uh, text style, which I think it hasn't done yet. Or, I'm sorry, not a text style, <laughs> I just did that a uh, text size, Duh. which uh, you can play around with this, set it up to whatever your liking is. Something like that will work, maybe a little smaller. All right, and we'll come back to that if we need to add anything else to it. But the next thing we need to do is we want to add a button. All right, so let's go over here, find our button. And once that blue line comes up, it knows, okay, to put it beneath the uh, other component, which is our text view. So right now our width is set to match parent, which is, uh, we'll keep it that way. Now we wanna set our height to zero because our height is going to depend on the weight that we give it, which we can do here. So layout, weight, and once again, this is saying that we want it to take up a certain percentage of 100. So, you know, 100 is always easiest to use because it's easy to do the math, 15% uh, of, of the entire screen. So let's go look at that. Okay, so that enlarges a little bit. All right, so now we have our button. And let's give it an ID. We're gonna have a button sign in. It's gonna be this one. All right. And the next thing we want to do is we want to add a little bit of margin to each side so that we can get a uh, the equal amount of margin to get it to be still centered, but uh, to give it a little bit of the spacing. So let's just do that here since we're right here. We'll scroll over to margin left and add a value of 20 to each left and right, okay? So now that's given us some cushion here. And the next thing we wanna do is we would like to set the text size of the text inside of the button to 
something a little bigger. And maybe a little smaller. All right. And then of course we want to actually change the text inside the button to let the user know what the heck the button is. And that should change, okay? So now we have that button. The next thing we wanna do is we want to add another button. So if the user doesn't have a login right now, they can choose to sign up uh, via their username and password and set up all the credentials and everything. And uh, if you want, go ahead and copy and paste it. But if you do wanna get used to it, just go ahead and rewrite it out. But I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it for time's sake and just change the following stuff. So sign up with email, change the text, and we can finally change the ID, sign, uh, sign up, we'll call it. All right, so now we have our buttons. Okay. Now in between these buttons is gonna be uh, just a simple text view that's gonna say or. And let's go ahead and use the property to do that. Let's see if we can squeeze it in there. All right. Cool. All right, so it's gonna say, you know, sign in or sign up with email. So sign in or, and just for good measure, we'll name that something that we can remember it by easily. And of course, we're gonna want to set again the height to zero because we're gonna give it a weight and that weight should be about, let's give it 15% as well. All right, let's see how that looks now. All right, and we can't see it because our text is too light, so we'll change the color to black. Okay, so there it is. And we're gonna wanna come over here, since we're right here, we're gonna wanna change the gravity of the text view like we did over here in the create an account text view. Uh, we wanna change that to center as well. All right, so that now is centered. And for now, that is all we need to do. Now the next part is adding the progress bar. And we're gonna wanna add the progress bar down here, okay? And what we're gonna do is for the remaining space, we're gonna add a relative layout. And inside of the relative layout is where we're gonna add the progress bar so that we'll set the progress bar to be centered in its parent, which is the relative layout, which we're gonna have fill the whole screen. So if that's a mouthful, uh, maybe seeing it will be easier to understand. So. Let's go ahead and create a relative layout. And we'll set its width to fill the screen. And we'll set its height to zero and give it a weight. Okay. And we'll give this the remaining uh, percentage, which right now if I did my math correctly, is 35, all right? So now inside of this relative layout, coming to here. Okay, so this is the relative layout, taking up the remaining space just like we wanted. And we will come into the toolbox and add a progress bar. So here's our progress bar. And since it's in a relative layout, we could use the property layout center and parent and this will center it both vertically and horizontally all right so there it is right there let's come back into the source and we'll add a few more things one property to uh, add is set its indeterminate property to true and we're going to want to also set its, uh, okay, it's wrap content, that's good. Okay, so that's that's fine. That should be it now. We're gonna, we're gonna style this, all of these uh, components in the next 
tutorial. But as you can see right now, we have the layout. Now it's everything's laid out properly. It's uh, it looks good. It's ready ready to go. And we're gonna send it. We're gonna have it styled to where we can you know manipulate the 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 gradients and the shape. And when you click on it, it'll highlight a certain color, a change gradient to give it like the user some uh, interaction. But let's go ahead and run this and see how it looks right now. Uh, oh, okay, so Xamarin added that button, of course. So let's just go ahead and delete that code because we deleted that button and it no longer knows what the heck we're talking about. Delete all this code. So if you're like me and forgot to delete that, just take out that code and it should run properly. We'll go ahead and wait for it to build on the emulator. And sometimes the designer shows you something different than what it is when you actually write it, of course. Uh, you know, that's always something that I, I likes to trick you with. Uh, so it's always nice to every so often just stop what you're doing and just run it on a device, run it on an emulator to see how it looks with an actual screen size. Ah, oh, jeez. Every time I start a new project, it always gives me this, you know, error. You gotta go into properties. If you've watched my other tutorials, you've probably seen by now that I always forget to do that. <laughs> I wish it just did that by default. All right, so now it should run, I promise. All right, cool. Okay, so everything looks like it's still laid out properly. Everything looks the way it should. The progress bar is showing right now. Uh, so we'll want to set that to invisible initially and set it to visible only when we need it to when the, when the application is doing some kind of long activity like uh, doing a web request is usually the common thing to do when you're to show a progress bar uh, when it's doing that. So everything looks good. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and start designing this and start really making it uh, custom and changing the gradients, like I said, and, and, and the interaction when you click on it. Right now, it looks like when you click on it, it's probably the default or something it looks really just turns white so we're not going to want that so we will do that in the next tutorial hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching